very close game towards the end. The team fight moments were so, so, so close. I want to show you some examples of that comeback fight that BB Team had where they almost got back in the game. Now, right before this clip happened, the Marana Arrow was used kind of scouting to look for um, this ward here. But what happens is Skeeter's going to use his Bloodthorn item here to uh, increase the accuracy against Medusa, who's got um, a butterfly. But watch the stun duration. They need a follow-up stun. It can't be Arrow. It's going to be the Hoodwink stun. But watch this Storm Spray zipping through. Just by chance, happens to cut the tree. That's going to interrupt the stun that's catching the Medusa. And as a result, she gets to use her Manta and her BKB. That basically starts panic mode for Falcons, because that's the person they're supposed to lock down. She gets her ulti off. She gets her BKB off. The Doom on the right targets happens. And that's why they're able to turn this fight. That stun being interrupted and removing the quick Bloodthorn completely changes the outcome of this fight. Look at how it was later when the game was even up and BB Team is sieging the base. First stun into second stun into arrow, full stun duration while Aegis is coming up. He's going to swap his BKB from his backpack here into his inventory. It's going to come up just a little bit late and watch for the frame perfect stun from Amar on the center here. Catches the Medusa, she gets stunned again follow up with another stun. This is the DK stun now. She takes two lives and doesn't get to be unstunned for a single second of it here. That is how you beat the Medusa. That was the plan for Falcons, but the fact that they messed up that previous fight almost gave BB team a chance to win this game. It was really, really close.